Hey Vikes, today we have another segment of Riddles for Days and Guess the Song. I'm Darren. And I'm Ryan, and this is your daily news. Prepare for something amazing. Hey mustache, what's up? <laughs> I love my mommy! <laughs> I will never forgive you! <laughs> <Larry>! <laughs> There will be an AJ's Pizza Night on March 5th for the orchestra. The SHS Bank is taking applications for the 2018-19 school year. Interviews will be the week of March 5th. Buy a break-a-leg message for your theater friends from the Thespian Society for $1. For $5, you can send one to the, whole, to the entire cast and crew. The North Snook will be open next Friday during lunch for students wanting to buy Viking apparel. Items include shirts, hoodies, jackets, hats, and other miscellaneous items. The next Parent Afterglow meeting will be in the comments on March 14th at 7 p.m. We have another Riddles for Days segment. Let's go check it out. Hey Vikes, we're back with some more riddles. Mr. and Mrs. Smith have seven daughters. If each daughter has a brother, how many children do Mr. and Mrs. Smith have? Eight. Eight. Good job. I can do math. <laughs> Eight. Thanks, Lizzie. <laughs> she was holding up fingers for me. But Lizzie only has eight fingers, so she might have just been waving. I don't know. A girl who was just learning to drive went down a one-way street in the wrong direction, but didn't break the law. How is this possible? Because, because she, she was going, going the right, wrong, yeah, right, right. one-way direction. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> it's a two-way street, but she just didn't know where she was going, so she was going the wrong direction. She was walking. <laughs> oh. Oh. A boy was rushed to emergency room. The ER doctor saw the boy and said, I cannot operate on this boy. He is my son. But the doctor was not the boy's father. How is this possible? Wait, can I hear it again? <laughs> A boy was rushed to the emergency room. The ear doctor saw the boy and said, I cannot operate on this boy. He is my son. But the doctor was not his father. How is this possible? Oh, oh no, I thought I had it because he was rushed to the emergency room. Wouldn't be by his dad, so his dad's not really a doctor. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> the doctor was his mother. Oh. Uh, ladies can be doctors? <laughs> now we're to sports with me after this quick commercial break. I wonder what will happen if I update my laptop. Where am I? Hmm, maybe I shouldn't. If you receive a notification to update your laptop to Mac OS Sierra, do not update. It could cause you to be locked out of your computer. Living in Kansas, we are frequently threatened by heavy rains, large hail, tornadoes, floods, and even snowstorms. Be sure to listen to the SVTV Weather Report daily so you stay informed. And now for your SVTV 5 day forecast, which shows the Tonight's spirit theme is out of this world, like space and aliens. Remember, this is a playoff game, so there are no passes accepted. Admission is $6 for adults and $5 for students. Seaman High School Baseball will be hosting a dodgeball tournament on Saturday, March 10th at Seaman Middle School. Entry fee is $36 per team with six players on a team. Sign up today and email any questions to Coach Bushnell. Now over to the man with the facts, weatherman Josh. We've got a few more days of warm weather out ahead of us, but then early next week, we turn very windy and cooler as well. Let's jump into the details right now. Tonight, we should stay mild and winds won't be too light, but there will be a breeze out there as we fall down to 43. And then tomorrow, it should be by far the nicest day of the next five with highs in the middle 60s. 
there will be a south wind to go along with the warmer temperatures, but still not as strong as we'll be looking at a couple days after this. On Sunday night, it does appear there's a chance for scattered thunderstorms. I don't expect any amounts to be greater than a quarter of an inch, but I can't rule out some small hail accompanying the rain. And now for your SVTV five day forecast, you can see that the warmth does not last all too long. Monday, we're already falling back into the 50s and then lower 40s for highs Tuesday. Both of those days, we could see wind gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour in the late after or late morning and early afternoon hours rather. But today in history, it's National Dr. Seuss Day and it's John Bon Jovi's birthday. Now, back to your anchors. Well, that's all we have for today, Vikes. Thanks for watching. Now, we'll leave you with another segment of Guess the Song. Have a good rest of your day. Hey Vikes, the musical's coming up in six days, so let's go check out to see if any of you guys knew musical songs. Na 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 na, na 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 na, yeah. You are the music in me. You know. Na 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 na, yeah. Alright, um, that's You Are the Music in Me, High School Musical 2. I know, I love High School Musical. Music in me. You are the music in me. I was close. From what? High School Musical. Which one? Two. Oh, not a real musical. In me. You got the name of it. You are the. Is it the music in me? You are the music in me. You are the music. Okay. okay. From which one? High School Musical one. Two. Two. That was it? Yeah, well, there's more. There's oh, um, I'm going to say Legally Blonde the Musical. No. It's the hard knock life for us. It's the hard knock life for us. Static we get tricked. Static says we get tricked. Um, they made a movie about this. It had Jamie Foxx in it, right? Um, it was like that little Annie movie or something. Um, she was like an orphan or something. Annie Orphan, Annie. Annie, little Annie, Annie. Hard Knock Life by Jay Z. Hard Knocks. What? Hard Knocks. No. <laughs> it's not. It's a Hard Knock Life. I was close. From what movie? Or musical? Oh, yeah, I've seen that movie, Annie. This is from Annie. It's Hard Knock Life. Mm -hmm. Like the top of the Chrysler building. That would be uh, Hard Knock's Life from Annie. Little shop, little shop of horrors, little shop. Little shop. Cougar. Uh, it's Little Shop of Horrors from Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> I know that one. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, Little Shop of Horrors. It's super califragilistic, expialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say. Um, I really don't know. But I like it because she can rap, because she's singing pretty fast. So, yeah, I mean. Super capitalistic, I would say so, I do shit. Super capitalistic, I'd be asking, that's no shit. Super califragilistic, expialidocious from Mary Poppins. That is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious from the movie version of Mary Poppins. All right, guys, go check out the musical on the 8th through the 10th. Have a great rest of your day.